guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then hello we are filming at nighttime in my bedroom i swear that one day i will film in like my reptile room it's just not quite where i want it to be yet but anyway today i'm going to show you how i installed some heat lights and uvb lights into my pvc enclosures i installed the lights about three months ago and i've been waiting to actually upload this video because i wanted to make sure that everything was working properly i was actually really really nervous doing this project because i was dealing with electrical and like any reptile owner i was super paranoid about any electrical hazards so I went to like a bajillion different resources to see how other people did this. Where I work, we have these kinds of lights installed into the reptile enclosures. So I asked my boss how she did them. I watched a few videos, which I will actually link in the description box down below. I use those as reference. I even messaged and talked to a few people online as well and got to have a conversation with them and ask them some questions. Uh, so thank you to those people. Eventually, I kept seeing a pattern and started to understand how to do this. But to be extra, extra, extra safe and to also make things easier on myself, um, I also had the help of my mother's friend. He does home renovations, so he's familiar with electrical. Now, I just want to put a disclaimer here. Guys, I had a lot of guidance from a good handful of people before I attempted this. I really don't want anybody burning their house down. So if you can, hire an electrician or have somebody help you that's at least familiar and comfortable with electrical. I just want everybody to be safe. I'm not trying to scare anyone. I personally didn't find it that complicated. This is just me showing you how I successfully installed heat lights and UVB lights into my PVC enclosures using the same methods that many others have used. But we're gonna get into the video now and I'll show you guys how all of this is done and um, how I successfully installed the lights. I think that's all I really wanted to say. I really hope I'm not forgetting anything. But if you like this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and hit that subscribe button if you want to see updates on my pets and videos like this in the future. So these are the PVCs I'm using to install the lights into. They were secondhand from where I work. You guys saw me get these in another video. I've always wanted to try installing lights like this so that I can have the heat and light source from the same place. It's less electrical that way too, so I'm using up less outlets. Now these are the tools that we used. Everything here we got at Home Depot, but any local home hardware store will do. Not gonna lie, finding what the names were of some of these items was the most difficult, but eventually I found what I needed. So first we got this metal object here called a mounting bracket. These to go together with the ceiling lamp holders, which are these right here. This is a ceiling lamp holder. I got the porcelain ones here and it can handle a ridiculous wattage amount. Make sure the wattage of the bulbs you're using doesn't go over the wattage of the fixture you're using for it. I'm only using 26 watt to 40 watt bulbs in these enclosures, so I really don't have to worry about that. A wire and plug. You can find wires with plugs already attached to them with a bonus on an off switch. If you wanted to use a dimmer switch, there's apparently some extra steps to do and I don't want to do that. So we're just going to keep things simple. A cable connector piece. Now, I didn't use this and a lot of people that I talked to didn't either, but I'm still going to show you where you would add this in the video. It is another safety feature and it's important to note that you would need one of these to meet building codes, but I'll get more into that in the video. And some handy basics like a drill, some wire cutters, small screws. Make sure to keep in mind how thick your enclosure is. We have like a mini Home Depot in my basement storage closet, so I never have to worry about tools. And lastly, I'm using these spare Reptisun UVB light fixtures by Zoomed that I had, and I'll be attaching these to the top of the enclosures. Now time for the actual building and assembling. So first we drilled holes on top of the PVC enclosures for where the wire will come out of in the future. One appropriately sized hole per lamp holder is all you need. I have two holes here cause these enclosures are split down the middle. Then we took the wire with the plug and switch and fed that through the hole so that the plug and switch are on the outside of the enclosure. 
moving on to the mounting bracket. I'm popping out one of these circles. It doesn't matter which one, they all pop out. And then we fed the wire from the inside of the enclosure through that hole we just popped out until the mounting bracket is flush to the ceiling of the enclosure. Now we just gotta mount it. So with a screwdriver and some screws, we just used two, we're just gonna screw that into place using these holes that are already in place on the bracket. So here is where one would add the cable connectors. Now these prevent the wires from pulling out of the ceiling lamp holder if something were to tug on the wires. And I did have this happen at some point where I was moving one of the enclosures, but I found another way to prevent this. But this is what you would need to use to bring a building up to code. But here my boss explains how these work if you do wish to use them. So they, they fit right in to here. I think they're, there's a size on remember. But they, they fit right in. Okay. Um, so when you install this, it goes like this okay. and you screw it onto the inside, right? Okay. Um, so you would, this feeds in and the wires come out of it. Okay. Okay. So there's a, a stop here as well. Mm -hmm. So once you feed the wire through, mm -hmm. it wedges it so it doesn't move. Okay. Perfect. Well, thank you for that. That is all I needed. Okay. Moving on now. So for some reason, the screws that come with these aren't long enough, but the lamp holders come with these longer screws. I'm assuming for this reason. So just replace the smaller screws with the two bigger ones. So now we're attaching the wires to the lamp holder. Here you can see my mom's friend is stripping the wire. We had actual wire strippers and cutters, but they weren't good enough, and we weren't about to go out in a snowstorm to go get some, so he improvised, and I'm not about to tell a grown man what to do. But anyway, strip the wire a bit at the end, and then twist the ends together like so. We then screwed them to those two screws here, never attached them to the same screw. This was a little tricky to do, but eventually we managed. Here you can see why those cable connectors are handy. You can see how this can easily come apart if tugged on. If your lights aren't working and you didn't add cable connectors, you might have to just take the fixture apart and screw the wires back into place. I probably will end up adding the cable connectors in the future because it does seem like a good idea, but as I said, I found another way to prevent this for now. Now to piece it all together. Just gonna sandwich the lamp holder to the mounting bracket like that. The two screws from the mounting bracket that we put in should now fit nicely into place on the lamp holder like so. Lastly, we're just gonna screw that all in and now it's ready to test out. Let there be light. <gasps> How about that? Oh my god! <laughs> ah, look at guys, there's light! Yeah! Look at it. All right, I'm super happy with how those worked out, but now we're moving on to mounting the UVB lights. So first I removed the light bulb and placed it somewhere safe. And now I'm attempting to remove the reflector. You might need something to help pop it out at first. It's a bit bendable, but it should slide out after. So now I have a naked light fixture. Now we're pre-drilling two holes on either side for where we want to place the screws. And now we just want to screw it into place to the top of the enclosure. There's other ways to do this, but this was the best way I found because if I want to, I can just remove the screws and have the light fixture again as it was. It'll have two small holes on the top, but that's not too noticeable and it doesn't really personally bother me too much. Drilling a hole in the back for where the plug and stuff to come out. And now I'm just gonna put the reflector back on and pop that ball back in and there you go. I did another project while I was at it where I quickly just split my PVC enclosure down the middle for my two fire skinks because I did have to separate them.
final result. I love it, I think it looks great, and it's been working well for me, as I said, for a few months now. It lets off the appropriate amount of heat and light. I did end up removing the UVB lights from the fire skin enclosure because I found it was getting a bit too warm with having the two lights in there. So I just switched out the heat bulb for a UVB bulb that let off just a little bit of heat, but it was enough to actually heat the PVC enclosure and give my fire skinks the appropriate hot spot. I might just end up putting some LED strip lights up in the front though for some extra visual lighting and to take videos and pictures. I don't have bulb guards on these because they actually don't get too hot. As I said, it's just a UVB light bulb. I can actually touch it and hold it and it's no problem. It doesn't burn me. But my snake lights, they're a little bit hotter. So I had to do some DIY bulb guards that I made to put over top. And I did do a little video on these that you can check out. And then this is what I did instead of using the cable connectors. I just took some really strong Gorilla Tape and I just taped the wires into place, but nothing should really be tugging on them. They're up against the wall there. So overall, it's been going great. Yeah, nothing more to say. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you found it useful. Maybe it'll help guide you a little bit if you're doing this to your own enclosures. But once again, safety comes first. So if you're not 100% comfortable doing this again, guys, please ask for help, okay? Please. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.